So, you guys get in this front headlock. I'm trying to like, lo- like pull the choke and he's not letting me. I push his hands down. I half fight, I lock, get to my escort, bring my, my, my butt over his head. Guy tries to go somewhere. <laughs> and pull him up. Now. <laughs> What's up, coach? What's up, man? You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I had a horrible light- night last night. Guys, do not eat... Um, uh, what kind of lettuce? Spinach. Spinach. No, no, no. Romaine. Romaine lettuce. The CDC has announced, do not eat romaine lettuce. You could get E. coli, especially lettuce from Salinas, California. If you guys didn't know, last night I was trying to eat healthy. I made myself a nice smoothie. You guys ever do that? I have a Vitamix. Do you guys know what a Vitamix is? This badass blender. I put in my uh, my my uh, my spinach, uh, pre wash straight from Costco, like right out of the bag. Threw in some frozen strawberries, you know, a little bit of uh, you know uh, nuts. I had like uh, pecans and almonds. It was amazing. Incredible drink, and then guess what? Woke up in the middle of the night, like I went to bed straight away, like literally 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, my stomach started wrenching, it's the worst. Dude, I was infected. After an hour of just curling up in a ball, just taking it, I was tired of taking my beating, and I kept thinking about what I ate. I ran to the kitchen, pulled the spinach out, it's from Salinas, California. Guys, be careful of the spinach too. It's not just the romaine lettuce. It's all of it. Why did I bring that up? I, 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 guys, it was one of the worst. It is the worst stomach ache of my life. I am traumatized right now. I will never make another smoothie ever again. Uh, I think I will only cook spinach for the rest of my life. It was that bad. So I, I prayed a lot last night to the porcelain God in my, uh, in my home. And uh, I, I just hope that my prayers are completely answered and it is completely gone. All right, let's do it. People don't care about this. Let's go. Go, go, go. Uh, what did I do tonight, guys? I was actually, I don't roll guys anymore too much, but I started rolling a little bit tonight. And we had this guy, he's huge. How big is, how big is Pete? He's like 200 and, 200, he's close to three. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, I got I got Pete in the in the front headlock guys and check out this choke This is a guillotine, but it's like the version of it's the inverse or the reverse of the seven-year-old choke If you guys don't know Jeff Glover's seven-year-old choke you guys gotta Hit that on YouTube seven-year-old choke. Um, it's where you catch a guy from the back. So in the seven-year-old choke Which I love as well um, Several choke guys you guys could have a seatbelt. Maybe you can't get the rear naked. The guy's holding my hands. What I'll do is I'll come out and I'll lock my S grip like this. See, I lock my S grip and I go right over his arms. Now look at where he is. He has his fingers there, but I slid so much. And if he tries to slide down, it doesn't help him. He's going to get caught. And then I just pull and I submit him. So I guess we're going to give you guys two for one. You get the seven-year-old choke, and then I'm going to show you guys the reverse of the seven-year-old choke. So that, that technique's cool. Let's do that, too. I, did, I wasn't planning on it, but let's do that, too. I get here, guys. The guy's holding. I usually use it when I need, I need something. Sometimes the guy already slides down a little bit. That kind of that makes me go, oh, shoot, I'm losing him. All right. I come out, and I lock an S-grip. I really like the S-grip. Notice my left palm is down and I go here, I make it tight so he can't like, he tries to tuck his chin and pull, you know, like this. I don't want that. I want to like force my, my radial bone into his chest as strong as I can. So now you can put your hands. Good, he's here. I lock and I squeeze and then I let him slide down and I lock my feet. And then again, guys, look at my elbows. My elbows, I bring my elbows together so there's no room for you to go anywhere. And if you try to push back on top of me, my, I've kicked you out, you see that? I'll let him walk around so we can see. 
and you can't really go anywhere, huh? Try to go somewhere. Yeah, that's tough, huh? And then I just pull like rope. I keep pulling. As I extend my legs, I'm pulling like this. I'm not pulling with my arms. I'm pulling like I'm doing a deadlift. So it's incredibly strong. Crazy, right? That's brutal. <laughs> so, here, here, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. So check it out. <clears throat> Next time you're here and the guy's defending or whatever, and you're like, man, he's defending so good. He's got his elbows in and whatever. You're just gonna take the left hand out and then you're gonna go over it. And even though he looks like he's strong, the noose, I've got my chin down. You're just gonna go ahead and kind of bring your legs over my shoulders, my arms, and cross your feet. Yeah. And then look, I'm still okay for right now. You guys can hear my voice, but he keeps pulling and extending. Oh my God. Yeah, keep going. You know, they, uh, okay. Yeah, you got it right there. Okay. All right. Your seven year old choke. So Jeff Glover tells the story of the seven year old choke, guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm, you know, Jeff's a friend of mine, so I kind of like, I, I've known him a long time. Um, he, he, I don't know the exact story, but it's like a seven-year-old just like holding on, like grabbing on. I actually, to be honest, you look up the story. I don't even know the story, <laughs> but it makes sense to me, right? Like that's how a seven-year-old would choke you, right? I don't know if that is the story or not. So I might be confusing it with Deep Half Guard story. All right, moving on. Go to your knees. So, um. Here's the version of the guillotine, okay? So look, I know there's not a lot of light. Why don't you come around here, okay? So, right here. see, I have the, the guillotine, see right here? You're normally you're grabbing the chin and you can grab like this. See, I grab, I grab onto that meat and I have a guillotine position. Well, uh, a lot of times the guy will grab my hands and I can't like, get the guillotine so here's another little tip we're gonna have to open up for a second so just just posture and then grab grab my hands so see just imagine so you guys can see the hands like i can't guillotine choke him he's pulling at my hands right so what i do is i release my hands and i grab his hands so since he's grabbing my hands i grab his hands and now i push his hands away from his own neck and then i pull back up so like i push his hands down I like keep holding like that. I get control of your hands. I can push your hands down and then I go back and I go back to the guillotine. So this is what's happening right here. The guy will hold and you see, I'll like push his hands down, but I, I keep my body weight on him so he doesn't get away. You know, like if you try to move, I'll follow you. You see what I mean? And then now, see how you lost? You're, you're good? Yeah. See like, I'm trying to pull and you're not letting me, right? So I just like push your hands down, like you don't have to let me go, hold it. Yeah, I push your hands down and then I get it again. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. Sorry about slapping you, but <laughs> I, I can be a little brutal sometimes. <laughs> so you go ahead and grab me. Yeah, actually, so I'll push your hands down and I'll lock again. And then what happened what, tonight, I, I was using my tactic where I, where I just push the hand off and then I go back to it, see? Push the hand off, go back to it. And then I just locked an S grip and he was holding my hands. So I do the version of the seven-year-old. I hop up, sitting on his head. One, I could just sit on his head like this. <laughs> and then look right here, come over here. Look right here, look what I have. His head's under my butt. <laughs> and then I just pull and choke. <laughs> How crazy is that one, right? So you guys get in this front headlock, I'm trying to like, lock, like pull the choke and he's not letting me. I push his hands down. I hand fight, I lock, get to my S grip, bring my, my, my butt over his head. Guy tries to go somewhere. <laughs> and pull him up. Now, <laughs> uh, and then, you know, the guy could, like when you guys are under, maybe he could try to like lift me or whatever. I'll sit on his head and I finished one of them like this. So. I get here and I locked. God was holding it. I sat and then put my feet up. Okay? So now when the guy wants to like forward roll, I don't let him. See, he's trying to roll off to the side or whatever. It's really hard. I'm not letting you. It's hard for you to go anywhere, huh? Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> 
<laughs> Go look at his face. It's purple. See that? And now he's got his hands. <laughs> but I just have to push with my butt. I just have to push with my butt and pull and get the choke. Okay? And I just have my hands at S grip. So, <laughs> you like this? All right, you guys, some of you guys are gonna, this should be the, called the tea bag, right? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. so anyway, so here, I'll let you tea bag me one time. Okay. I don't think you should call that one the seven year old choke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, you guys, look, look, he's right here, and I'm holding, go ahead, yeah, see how I'm holding the hands? Just push my hands down. Yeah, and then come back, and like, see, I don't let me out, and then you come back, and he locks. Now, even if my hands are in, you got your escrow? Now just stand up and put me in the, right there. <laughs> and then if you think I'm going to lift you, like some people might think like I'm going to do what's called, like in wrestling we call it Iranian lift. I'll lift you. If you're, you know, I'll pop up out the back if I'm real explosive, then just sit down and throw your feet over. Okay? Do you understand what like yeah. I did to you? Yeah. Try that one last time. Okay? So I'm here. You fight the hands, whatever, and go to the thought. Get stand up and sit down. <laughs> <coughs> All right, that was awesome. Man. That shit's deep. Yeah. So, when you guys are out there, you want a cool new move? Uh, go for the reverse seven-year-old, um, not the tea bag. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoy uh, this lesson tonight. It's a simple move. It's very easy to learn. Uh, so go try it out on your partners. And don't eat the spinach. <laughs> don't eat the spinach. S grip, guys. S grip. All right. Teach me grappling. Click the link down below at Patreon, PayPal. You guys know how it is. I always give you guys the best stuff for free. So please, if you can, contribute to the channel and join our Patreon uh, group. And uh, if you can't, you can also uh, donate through PayPal on a uh, per video basis. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great, happy Thanksgiving. All right, we'll see you. There you go. Bam! T-Man! <laughs>